Hello, everyone. I'll be talking about hot spots and geysers. In Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming, there is a hot spot. A hot spot is known as an area of earth that sits above a mantle plume. In this mantle plume, it sits below the North American plate. Um, this mantle plume consists of magma that is incredibly hot, which, and it is hotter than its surrounding magma. This causes the magma to rise to the surface. Um, this excess heat causes the melting of the North American plate. And evidence that we know that these mantle plumes are stationary is because as plates move across them, they form vol um, volcanic um, chains behind them and tails behind them. So specifically, we know that the Hawaiian Islands in the, P the Pacific Ocean are formed by mantle plumes and hotspots. And according to the National Park Service, there are roughly 40 to 50 hotspots around the world. So on the right, we see a picture of just a mantle plume. Um, we see how the excess magma rises to the surface, which causes a thinning of the crust above it. And then on the left, this is the picture from a lecture that we had. And you can see that as the plate moves across the mantle plume, it causes these volcanoes behind it. So, hot, so these um, hot spots allow for geothermal features like hot springs, basically as um, it provides a source of heat. So magma heats up the rock. Um, it, this rock comes in contact with groundwater and runoff water. Um, so basically, as the water heats up, it becomes less dense, it rises through the surface and through the cracks, it rises to the surface through the cracks, and this creates hot springs, which are pretty acidic, and there's plenty of pictures on the internet that shows these as being fun, but they can be extremely da dangerous. So this is just a video of a geyser, which is a type of hot spring. And as you can see, it is erupting into the air. So the mechanics behind this geyser is water first fills up through the cavity or fills the cavity through infiltration, which could be groundwater or runoff or just the previous water that was erupted. As it goes back into the cavity, the water boils. Um, this water or the magma at the bottom of the cavity heats up the water to boil at temps near 350 degrees. This turns into a gas, which is steam, and it builds in the chamber. And then colder steam at the top of the narrow surface um, seals the chamber and allows it to boil even more. Then the steam bubbles build in the chamber and eventually it pushes through that small little narrow um, opening at the surface. These gases blow out of the hole and cause the and causes the eruption. And then the fit, it should say the fifth one, but the fifth one is pressure ejects water into the air um, and it, it keeps ejecting until the entire chamber is below the boiling point. And then the last slide is just the reference